Hey everybody, welcome to Rebel Junk. My name is Erin. Today's unloved and unwanted junk comes to us from a couple places, but mostly from a visit to our local Humane Society when they were having their garage sale fundraiser. So their fundraiser, I love to shop there. It's huge. They do it twice a year and you go in, fill your bag or fill a box, whatever you have with you or whatever you grab in there and pay for whatever you think it's worth. They don't give you any idea of how much you should pay. So sometimes it's hard to say, you know, if you're overpaying or not, but I just really try and give them like a dollar per item that I pick up. And if it's something that I know for sure, you know, that's I'm gonna get over $100, then I would definitely give them more. So today I'm going to show you what I picked up there. There I actually went two days in a row. I went the first day with my mom and she kind of rushed me through there. So I went back the second day. Um, plus there's so much there. You really can spend a couple hours, a couple days in a row going through there. But I wanted to show you what I picked up there and hopefully I'll have some comps to put up. Yeah, right here. <laughs> so you can see what I was thinking when I picked these up. Yeah, let's get started the Oregon Trail game. It does work. I turned it on. It's just like we played in grade school when you were on the little Apple computers. Blank media. I just grab those when I see them. One of those old plastic uh, wallets that holds keys in it. I'm not sure that there's any value. It does say Buffalo Cowhide on it. It was cute and I like to sell wallets. If you guys have seen a couple episodes <laughs> of Rebel Junk, you've heard me say that before. Cute little purse. And this one did have a brand name on it. Cato, it says on the inside, but it's an owl and it has stars and stripes. So super cute. I did pick up a couple pairs of Harry Potter glasses it's that season. Oh wait, that this one says Where's Waldo and this one's Harry Potter. Need to get those listed quickly. Uh, these say Florida Handmade. A pair of clip-on earrings. It looks like they were in somebody else's garage sale. There we go. You can see them there. I thought I grabbed two of these but i'm only seeing one up here on the table right now those are royal <laughs> worcester porcelain made in england super cute this oh it was a boyd's bear and friends little resin jar trinket dish i like trinket dishes too i tend to pick up quite a few of those so there's that cutie this t-shirt i grabbed i'm not sure what kind of value it's gonna have. Um, it's from Lollapalooza 2019 and it is a kid's large. So I need more information about that. I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six of these plates from Pier 1. So Pier 1 is now out of business. So I grabbed these thinking they might uh, be vintage soon, but they're cute too and they're pumpkins and it is the season. A few stuffed animals. So this is a lovey but it's also a rattle. So a cute little lion from Koala Baby, the tag says, but super soft. A Webkins with the tag still on it. So I need to look that up. This little beaver, I just couldn't pass up. In really good shape. And from 1978. I grabbed this beanie with the embroidered US Navy on it. So I did have my daughter try these on and they did not fit. So it's a pair of Miss Me jeans with the embroidered pockets on it and a size 27 boot cut. I think those will do well. They're in really good shape, but they don't look like they've ever been worn. Also grabbed a pair for my daughter to try and either one of these worked for her. I did not have her with me. Oh, American Eagle stretch boot cut jeans. I grabbed a stack of games and I didn't look them up because I'll an item. And so I just grabbed these you know, surely if I lot them up even at a dollar an item, they should be just fine. I did check to see that the games were inside. So this is Mystery Clue Trail Millionaire, Nintendo DS Get In Step, Personal Trainer Walking. This is My Word Coat, and then Gourmet Made Easy Personal Trainer Cooking. That's all. And then this is a still wrapped NASCAR Greatest Finishes and Dominators. Two. Honestly, if we don't sell that, my husband might want it. We Game Party 2, We Pinball Hall of Fame, and We Go Play City Sports. 
is the book and the disc. Okay. I'm not familiar enough with these to know what the value of them would be, but I grabbed them. This one says navy and the digital camo with the hook and loop back on it. Official licensed product of the US Navy and Gulf War veteran. I would be happy to send this to anybody that wants that without selling it. If you follow me on Instagram, which I'm also Rebel Junk um, on Instagram, you may have seen that I posted I'm on a no buy. I have so much stuff that's not listed right now. I need to not buy anymore and just list. But I do still have some hauls that I haven't shown you guys. So I have this. I've got, I think, two bags from two trips to Goodwill. Those are small. So I've been a little bit pickier, um, even leading up to the no buy. And I did end up buying one order from an auction <laughs> even after I declared the no buy. But nothing else since then. So I'm going to finish showing you the garage sale from the Humane Society. These little science kit from I thought they were National Geographic but now I don't think they are but these little science kits do fairly well so I did grab this one and truly if this doesn't sell my daughter would love to have that it has been sitting here for a while this was from a Goodwill um, in the next town over a while back but this is the creative memories collection power sorting box and i think i sold one of these used before so i was pretty excited this was only two dollars to um, buy brand new in the package i grabbed this linksys e 1000 wireless and router it looked brand new in the box i will throw a comp up on the screen here pretty sure i looked that up before i brought it home because i know nothing about it so i grabbed a quill pen this is um, a nice brand it looks like this and on the end of it it says Tinkle. i did grab a couple of ashtrays uh barcelona notre dame and it does say souvenir <laughs> across the top I picked up a used Live Simply Scentsy Warmer. It does have the tray that is on top. Uh, I need the light bulb, but I'm pretty sure I have some of those. This was a coat that I grabbed for myself. This was a garage sale the same day. I think I paid a dollar for these, but it's a cute little pin and earring set. I grabbed two pairs of leather gloves they're in pretty good shape i grabbed a small leather fossil purse you can see it says right there fossil and it also has the patch on the back i grabbed for myself sewing machine needles and a measuring cup with spell of items to put in the first aid kit that i keep for my girl scout i have sold one of these corel pie plates before born flower blue in the middle darling little shop <laughs> so it says flower shop on there you open it up there's little characters inside so i picked that up look at this guy Oh, power strip for the house. Precious moments in the box. Sugar Town Aunt Cleo figurine. I did pick up this compact, but I don't think that the value is there. So it has an enameled front and it's kind of scratched up. It's actually really scratched up. But this is by Stratton. The clasp does not work. Very clean inside. So it does have the little powder puff underneath there. Not sure what I'm going to do with that one. So I've had good luck in the past selling miniature salt glaze pottery. So I grabbed a set, a bowl, a jug, and a crop. This is a 100% recycled glass made in Spain. Base or planter. I'm not sure. Can you guys see that? Label there. There it is. So it's a neat look. I picked up a set of oyster baskets. So I think there was a set of three. And I remember comping these and thinking, okay, yeah, that's a good deal. I need to bring those home. Yep, it's a set of three. They're in good condition. Stack of these teaching CDs. And I don't know if they're CDs or DVDs or both. And when I comped them out, a lot of the comps had the workbooks with them. Um, so anyhow, algebra, calculus, pre-calc, geometry, they're all math. So I'll need to go back and see what I can do with just the teachings without the workbook. I did pick up just some packaging supplies, so large ceiling poly bags. I picked up a couple packs of patches. I picked up erasers, self-sealing laminating pouches, so that's just for me. I found a small brooch that says um, nappier on the back. Craft supplies for me. I picked up a linen dish towel. I think it's a, yep, 1976. I think these are collectible, but I will have to 
We'll look them up to make sure. Oh, Chromecast, 2015 it says. Not sure if that's valuable or not. Spirit of Adventure Metal Art Made in the USA by Earth Studio. So that's a Christmas ornament. I might keep this one. It's from Spode. But look at the cute little cat. Christmas ornament. I might keep that one. More of my favorite. Wallets. This one's by Liz Claiborne. Purse from the Frells line of Vera Bradley. And more craft supplies and office supplies for home. So that's everything that I picked up at the Humane Society garage sale. Mm -hmm.